Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a composting project to share with you. We are using this kit called See-Through Compost Container. It's available at Nature Watch and it is fantastic. I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like about it and the best part is that you can see what we actually compost at the end of this video. It has three see-through containers and the containers also have a magnifying glass within them which is really cool and you can see that those magnifying glasses are set at different levels and the whole thing comes apart so it's really easy to transport. It also comes with a lid and it has all these little air pockets here because your compost probably has some living organisms in it and it has three mercury free thermometers that you can insert through the top. So we took this outside where we have some dirt which happens to be some old compost so you're going to see some eggshells in it. We have our new compost here which is just our kitchen clippings and we have a lid, a plastic lid from a coffee cup as well as some paper. So the first thing we're going to do is add some soil to each of those compartments. Now my soil is a mix of dirt and compost material. You want to add about six to eight inches in each of those compartments. Now my son started to put our kitchen clippings into each of the compartments but you actually want to just put your fruits and vegetables into one container and then I've got my daughter who is six and she's tearing up the paper and she's going to put it in the center compartment and then for the last compartment we are going to use the plastic lid from a coffee cup. Now the kit comes with a manual that shows how long it takes for these common materials to decompose. Our kitchen clipping should take anywhere from one to three weeks and the paper should take anywhere from three weeks to three months. So once you get your things in, you can go ahead and cover it with more soil. I added a little bit of water, but I'm not sure if this is advisable or not. I just noticed that my soil was pretty dry and I think that a little bit of water is going to help the whole process along. So we started this on November 13th and we went ahead and we inserted the thermometers, which is really great because all the other times we've ever composted, I've never checked the temperature. And this was really exciting to see. So so the compost right now is at 20 degrees, the paper is at 24 degrees, and the plastic is at 24 degrees. So we think our thermometers are a little bit off since two of them had the same temperature and the one with the compost showed four degrees less. And this is going to be significant because as the experiment progresses, the temperatures are going to change. So about five days later on this cool morning, our compost is at 23 degrees. You can see that there's a lot of moisture kind of condensing on the outside. And then our paper is at about 17 degrees. And then our plastic is at about 19 degrees. All right, so I really like this whole setup. The only thing is that these are acrylic containers, which means they will scratch. And indeed, I did accidentally scratch it when I was going through the compost and just kind of mixing it around. So you want to be careful with that and just and just even just the wear and tear of the soil against the uh, plastic container is going to cause it to scratch. If you wanted to do this on your own without this kit, you could do the same thing using three large mason jars and you can puncture some holes into the lid and get yourself a couple of thermometers. So on December 1st, this is a, almost about three weeks from the start of the project, on a much warmer morning, you can see that all the temperatures have gone up, but the compost temperature is significantly higher than the other two. And if you take into account that four degree difference, then it's very much hotter than the other two containers. So now it's time to dig through it and see what it looks like after all this time. So I'm digging now through the one with the paper, but I decided to start with the plastic one first, and I pulled out the plastic lid and it looks just exactly the same. There's like no change to it at all. Not surprisingly, what the kids weren't surprised that, that uh, it looked like that. Next we want to go through the bin that had the paper and I had to go pretty deep and you can see that the soil that we use has some eggshells and some other bits in it but we did not add any kitchen clippings to this one. This one just had the paper. So after about three weeks you can see that the paper is still fully intact however it is a lot more moist and I suspect that if you mixed your paper along with your kitchen scraps you would probably have a higher rate of decomposition with your paper and that's something that 
that we're going to try after this. Now that we did this way, we can go ahead and redo this experiment with greater variation. So now I'm going through our compost section and I had to dig pretty deep before I found something. And we did find, I believe it was just the end of a sweet potato and that's it there. And I just had to clean off some of the dirt so that you could see it. And that's the only thing that didn't decompose after about three weeks, but it will. It'll just take a little bit more time, but everything else decomposed really quickly and it will decompose faster the smaller it is. So I also want to show you what the soil actually looks like and also tell you that it was quite a bit warmer. As I dug down deep in here and got to the parts that were composted, I could significantly feel that it was hotter than the other soil. And look how beautiful that is. It is just a beautiful rich brown. It's moist and it's just incredible to see that kitchen material turn into soil. This was a really fantastic project. Here's a little bit of that skin from the butternut squash, but other than that, everything else decomposed really well, and that still feels kind of warm. If you want to see some of the other projects that we're doing in our homeschool, you can tap on the screen right now. And to find more information about this product and some of the other things that we've used from Nature Watch, you can check the description box below.